The P90 program is outstanding. The best way to describe it for me was if you're reading a really good Dan Brown novel, you get to the end of the chapter and you're dying to see what happens next. You're now continuing the journey with us. You've left our Project 90 program and now you've joined our Beyond 90 community and program. So have, has there been a mindset shift from you from day 90 to where you are today, at least as we're recording this, which is on day 126? Like, do you see it as the end of one part and the start of another? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, listeners. I've been a little bit under the weather, so I'm sorry for the little coughs and sneezes here. Um, did you get that question, Robert? I did. I I kind of equate it to a, a book, right? So the, the first 90 days is like the first chapter in, in the book. So I've I've turned the page and I'm in the next chapter now. So the P90 program is outstanding, but I think um, the best way to describe it for me was if you're, you know, if you're reading a really good, like Dan Brown novel, you get to the end of the chapter and you're dying to see what happens next. So instead of putting the book down and going to sleep, you just turn the page and keep going. Mm. That's how I feel about uh, this AFL program that you all started. Oh, that's beautiful. And yeah, to the listener, if you want to see Robert talk a little bit more about his experience, you can also go to alcoholfreelifestyle.com. Don't have to add the slash reviews to the end of the URL. And if you scroll down on our website there, you'll see a video with Robert amongst four or five other of our clients um, filmed in January 2024 in Sedona, Arizona at our annual event. And you can just see Robert sharing a little bit more on camera about his experience. I love that. So a Dan Brown novel, huh? So it's it's all getting very exciting. We don't know where the story's going, but it's a page turner is how it feels. Is that right? Correct. That's how I describe it. <laughs> I love it. And we've got some great characters in there as well. We've got your 20-year-old daughter. We've got a fellow Beyond 90 member, Dane, who you might be playing golf with, as I understand it, this weekend. Not this weekend. It won't be until July. And okay. then I believe Alan, who was uh, also in P90, is uh, he works for Google. He lives in Manhattan, so perhaps we'll get to see him as well. But I, I plan on – Dane and I are – I'm – I'm really fond of everybody in the group, to be honest. And I was fortunate enough to make the trip to Sedona early on in in this uh, process. And I I, I feel uh, very fortunate that I, you know, that I got that email. And, and fortunately, uh, I have reasons to go to almost any state. We sell our products in every state in the United States, um, parts of Canada. Um, actually, one heister in Dublin, Ireland. My dad's grandparents are from Ireland, so um, it's uh, it's a pretty good deal, yeah. <laughs> and then you'll be coming to our 2025 event, possibly in Medellin, Colombia, right, in January? You planning on coming to that? I I already have reservations at the hotel. <laughs> there you go. Well played, sir. Well played. And, of course, Christina is another client that is based in Manhattan who's a, car a carriage driver. In oh, Central that's right. I, I am going to get a hold of her, and, and Lainey Kate and I will definitely go see her. Mm. Amazing. Well, I'm so happy that uh, the last 126 days have been so enjoyable for you and that uh your life is a page turner absolutely it seems like you are living a very adventurous life traveling around with great connection with your daughter great connection with uh new friends and uh ready to take over the family business not out of obligation but maybe just out of joy and uh and fulfillment at least that's my impression um, that's an accurate description. I, I agree with that. It's a, it, yeah, it's exciting. I, you know, even at uh, age sixty, it's um, it's enlightening. The possibilities when you, well, you just feel better in general. I, you know, I used to fear evenings, um, 
because I knew I had to get up early in the morning. I, I would fear the morning and I didn't sleep well. I, I would go to bed earlier, but I wouldn't feel rested. Now I go to bed later at night, but I sleep for an entire seven hours. Wow. So if I go to, if I watch a ball game or something and it ends at 10, I can go to sleep. I'll be up at five, but I'm, I feel like a million dollars when I was drinking, you know, you'd wake up at two, then I'd panic and I wouldn't be able to go back to sleep. So, um, it's, it's just immensely better.